This has been a tough few months for people who are afraid of needles. Obviously, while most have been able to face their fears and get vaccinated, there are still some who have not. But what if the COVID vaccine was available without a needle? Our Dr. Frank McGeorge here with some new research looking into that possibility and doc that would make a huge difference. Imagine going to get vaccinated, but instead of a healthcare worker injecting you with a needle, you're able to place a patch on your own skin. With a simple click from a handheld applicator, you're protected against COVID-19. That's what a group of global researchers are hoping to create. I don't look at it. It's safe to say. Most people don't like needles. I'm very scared of them. A needleless vaccine sounds much better. Pretty much anybody could just put it on their arm um, and, and use it. Researchers at the University of Queensland in Australia and a company called Vaxis are testing a vaccine patch, basically a tiny device covered in thousands of micro applicators to deliver protection through the skin. Basically, they're coated with our second generation stabilized spike protein. It's an extension of the breakthrough technology developed by Jason McClellan and his team at UT Austin last year. Their stabilized spike protein still serves as the basis for all three vaccines vaccines authorized for distribution in the U.S. I'd say relatively small percentage of the global population that's been vaccinated, with some estimates that people in certain countries may not be vaccinated until 2022 or 2023. Early research shows this patch can be kept at nearly room temperature for about a month, which would open up more distribution opportunities. It can be shipped. Um, you know, just in the mail. You can probably do it at home, do it yourself. While it's not a reality yet, it's certainly an idea that could stick. Now, before you get too excited, testing is still in the early phases in mice, but the researchers at the University of Queensland say they have seen strong immune responses so far. Now, this is something that would obviously be appealing for many other vaccines as well, and we'll keep you posted. Back to you.